My book, Skinny Girl Dish, has used what you have recipes that you can turn into all different options. So if you buy the big container of turkey meat, you can divide it in two. There's half of it. Here's half of it. Okay, great we're gonna for turn me who's on a budget. Good on a budget. Yes. And it's also in the freezer. It's what You don't have to go to the store. It's in your house. Everything here is pretty much in your house. Perfect. And we're going to make three meals. So okay. here's the all white meat turkey meat. You can also do this with boca crumbles or any kind of veggie crumbles. I've used boca too to show you a vegetarian option. So here is feta. Okay. I'm going to pour in. You keep, you keep spooning. Yes. Fresh parsley. So yeah, no, you cannot. There's no excuse to have only junk in your freezer. You can make this and then keep some of these in the freezer for another meal. Okay. And to here's occupy my kids, black pepper. Help me. Help me make this? I can help you occupy your kids. Yes. Okay, here's Dijon. Okay. I love Dijon because it's got zip. Worcestershire gives it like kind of a good smoky zip. And then this is garlic powder. If you use garlic salt, then don't use regular salt, okay? <laughs> then use what you have. You could substitute feta for Parmesan. You could substitute parsley for basil. You could use whatever you want, but burgers can be so boring. So just use, go in your cabinets and get creative. Get hot sauce, there's sun-dried tomatoes. Use what you have, okay. okay. The greatest thing to do is use an ice cream scoop. I'm gonna let you okay. do it, I'll be the patty maker. Use an ice cream scoop for equal portions. It's good for muffins, it's good for crab cakes. Okay, Got it. here we go. And we're gonna use a sheet pan. If it weren't a new show and we actually had a budget to have running water and a real stove, <laughs> then we would be cooking these. But I'm gonna show you, this is how you make a turkey burger, wonderful. Okay. Now you're gonna make something that your husband's not gonna know is totally different for the next night or two nights later. Nice. And it's turkey meatloaf. So take this and put this in here. Okay. Okay. I'm mushing. Yes, here's mushing. a sauteed onion, pe onion and pepper mixture. It could be, it could be something, you could have broccoli, you could have spinach, whatever you have in your house. sneak vegetables in for my kids. You could sneak vegetables okay. in for your kids, okay? You never know. Okay, that with herb, that's, that's beautiful, okay. okay? Then we're gonna use, this is, you could use ketchup, you could use barbecue sauce. This is again the Worcestershire sauce, which I really love, okay? okay. Here's an egg white to bind it all together. And then a lot of the recipes have milk, you could use soy milk, whatever you want if you have allergies. This is this, okay? And these, I use whole, I like to always make it as healthy as possible. I use whole wheat breadcrumbs. Use what you have. If you have stale bread or old pretzels, stick them in the food processor. Use what you have. Here are the breadcrumbs. You put it in 350, probably 40 to an hour. Okay. But you just touch it and when it bounces back on you, you know. Now, let's just taste the turkey burger. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Let's both taste it. I'm going to taste the veggie one to see if that's interesting. Okay. I always, have, I always have a vegetarian option. It's delicious. Mmm, that's good. Very good. Good, right? Yep. My kids will eat that. Let's take